Jill Ferris and this is Cooking for Bachelors. We're in our new kitchen studio in Red Hook, Brooklyn, and today we have a live studio audience. <laughs> Thank you for coming. We're going to make our own duck sauce. Okay, you know the stuff that you get when you go to a Chinese restaurant and you're going to serve it with your ribs? That used to be actually good. Um, and now it's who knows what's in it. Um, so we're going to make our own. And I'm going to be using, you can use, you, instead of doing this process, you can use an orange marmalade. I, I'm not lying to you. You don't have to like cook something down yourself. But for those of you who really want to cook from fresh uh, ingredients, I'm going to provide this for you. This is part kumquat, part mandarin orange. It's a really unusual fruit and I don't know if any of you have really had it. It is tart on the outside and you can eat the skin. You can also peel it, but it has this remarkable, it's like a sweet tart. It has both sweet flavor and a little tart, tangy flavor. So I think that makes a really nice combination for a sauce. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook these down, peel on with some sugar and water, and then add some other ingredients that will complete our sauce. So I'm gonna put it in a little pot here with one part water, one part sugar. I'm probably gonna use about a half a cup of each because it's gonna be dense and we're gonna cook that down and boil it until it's nice and syrupy. Okay, so we've cooked down our mandaquats maybe? Mandarin kumquat, quanda, quanda, squat? I don't know. Anyway, we've cooked them down and they're in the mini uh, food processor. I'm gonna put in some fresh garlic. And first I'm gonna chop that up a little bit. If you have something solid, you have to realize that I'm gonna put in all liquids. If you have something solid first, I wanna deal with that first and break it down. And then I'll be adding the wet ingredients. Okay, let's see how we're doing. It's still warm. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting a facial, a mandaquat facial. A mandaquat and garlic facials will be very good for you. We're taking good old ketchup. You can use any kind you want. Uh, how much am I putting in? I'm putting in about three tablespoons of ketchup. Sometimes you have to figure out your food by the feel, by what you like. If you're a heavy mustard eater, you're gonna put a little bit more mustard than ketchup. If you're a heavy ketchup eater, you're gonna put more ketchup. If you like spices, you're gonna use more heat. That's all there is to it. Cooking is about learning the ingredients and feeling your way through. However, if you would like recipes, my videos on iFood TV, um, it's iFood.tv slash Jill Ferris, that's my name, um, have the recipes on them. They're actually written recipes, so you could go there and get that. Did you know that? All right, so mustard-wise, we're using a hot Dijon, about a tablespoon. We're gonna put in just a little bit of honey. A little honey, honey. That's about a teaspoon. And some hot sauce. This is Frank's Red Hot. This is a great opportunity for a little product placement, if you know what I'm talking about. I thought I was going to open it up, it's going to have one of those seal. Oh, I spilled some. All right, so now how much do I want of this? Uh, uh, I'm saying about a teaspoon. I love heat. It is a dressing. We're going to eat it with ribs. So there we go. And our salt and pepper. Crunchy. And more pepper. Always fresh ground pepper. This was ground in my coffee grinder. That's dual purpose. A little bit for the beans. Okay, so here's our duck sauce. And I'm just gonna give it a little taste. Oh, there's bursting, bursting flavors in here. It's amazing. The mandaquat and the seasoning and the spices are just really bright and flavorful. So the studio audience and I were discussing while we were having some technical difficulties, uh, what would be the best to eat this with? And we were thinking that poultry and pork would be the best flavors. Um, fried chicken, ribs, duck, roast duck. So um, enjoy your sauces and thank you all for coming.